Hello everyone. I wanted to do a video on the junk journal scavenger hunt glue book that I'm working on and I wanted to make one that was fairly short so that it would be easy to watch. I am doing, I've challenged myself to a scavenger hunt and I am traveling this Thanksgiving and I thought it would be a great little project to take with me to collect things along the way and have some fun with. So this is a small junk journal that I put together specifically for a, tre a treasure hunt, scavenger hunt. I made myself a list and my list was only 25 things but I have 49 pages so I'm going to have to modify. This was just supposed to be a sample. I was supposed to do this really fast. I've been working on it for three days and it ended up being a little bit bigger than I thought it was so I wanted to get this filmed before I go so that people can see it and get a good idea of what I'm working on here and I thought this would be a great idea for gift giving. What fun would it be, I would love it as a kid, to get a little journal, junk journal, and you can not, it doesn't necessarily have to be a junk journal. I mean, it can be, you know, one of those blank books. It could be one of those journals, the pre-bought journals, with the stickers and all the good stuff in it. Or it could be a book with some pages torn out that you write down your category on the page and just collect your stuff. So I used a cookie dough candy box so that it would be fairly thin. I added 24 pages. There's three signatures and I started collecting my stuff. My categories were trees, foreign words, circles, birds, cartoon characters, places, food, fish, uh, candy, red, words that start with A, and not only are they words, actual words, but there's pictures, alligator, artichoke, and apple, and you can just list words too, write down what you can think of. This is going to be empty or used, and that's an empty tea bag container. Postmarks and stamps, elephants, stars, blue, and I've added blue paper, things that I found in magazines, anything that was blue. Alphabet, and I added a whole alphabet from Stampington, the advertisement for the stamps or stencils, I'm not sure which. And then I added some some alphabets that I found in magazines and things. This is a true junk journal. I've used used envelopes, um, book pages. This is a envelope that I opened up because I like the stripes on the inside. I have used um, magazine pages um, from a local um, grocery store. Just um, junk, really. It really is a true junk journal. Things that I was going to throw away. This is a ordering envelope from some place. I'm not sure which place. This is stickers. On conventional stickers, they have to be stickers that aren't bought stickers. Uh, clothing you know, the little size tags you get on clothing. This is one of my moving stickers I keep finding on boxes. Banana sticker, the sticker that I got from Goodwill, and this came off a candle. 
hands. I'm not quite finished here. This is wings, all kinds of wings. And this has an envelope tip in so that I had lots of space for all the wings. I've got tons of wings, things with wings. And they go right into the envelope. For those people that would love to make a junk journal and just never know what they're going to use it for, this would be a fun way to start. Just put together some, some junk that you're going to throw away. If you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. Give yourself a list. Flowers, numbers, and eyes. I have drawn eyes, the word eye, this is another pair of eyes that I drew, animal eyes, whatever I could think of. I also have crayon rubbings. And I showed in an earlier what I mean by that. I do rubbings from bottoms of shoes. Bottoms of this is the bottom of a glass. This was a, a stamp, a rubber stamp that I have. Um, this was a stencil. That's another one of the shoes. Um, and how I do that is take my shoe or whatever I'm rubbing, plain piece of paper and a crayon. This is a watercolor crayon. You can use regular crayons. And just do a rubbing. You can find things that have patterns everywhere. There's a chair at the mall at the food court. It's got a spiral on it I'm dying to get a rubbing of. Bottoms of dishes sometimes have if you can feel it, you can probably do a good rubbing on it. Um, another category that I am working on is movies with one word titles. So I've got a list of movies that I will use a, uh, a paper clip in and just clip it in. Uh, Clue, Mermaids, Hook, Jumanji, Frozen, Labyrinth, Willow, Halloween, Scream. I mean, you can go on and on forever with that. You could also, this is my Netflix envelope. You know how they advertise other movies. They didn't happen to have a one word title this time, but you could also put a picture of one of the make of the movies that you're going to put on your list instead of just listing them. Another category that I am working on is homophones. They are words that sound the same but are spelled differently. <laughs> I got hooked on doing this in the fifth grade. Mrs. Sutton had us start making a list. I had lists going. I'd lose a list. I'd start another list. I'd find old lists. I loved making lists of these words. An example is eight and eight. Eight, like the number eight and I ate Doritos for lunch. They're spelled differently, but they sound exactly the same. Deer, there's two ways to spell deer. Deer John or the animal deer. Um, if you were to do a gift for a child and give them one of those categories, they would spend a time trying to find those words to put on the list. Um, it would be fun. So I am planning on making some gifts with doing this. I found some other candy boxes that would be perfect and I'm going to be adding some scrapbook paper to make them kind of fun for, for the kids. Juji fruits. They're nice and thin so I don't have to add too many papers so I don't have to add that many categories. I will give them the book and a list. I also found 
at my Dollar Tree store, going crazy, going crazy, finding stuff, I found these uh, sticker books, my first book of stickers, and they have a hundred stickers. You know, they're just activity books to use the stickers. The middle page is 100 stickers. It would be fun to find a page that all these stickers would go on to. This one is dictionary. This one is opposites. So there's lots of different stuff. This one's the world. I had to get one of every every one. So there's a ton of places and stuff on there. Animals, all kinds of stuff. And this one is animals. And you could do categories of farm animals, creatures that live in the sea. Kids would really have a lot of fun doing something like this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, categories like squares, circles, um, words, numbers, all kinds of stuff. So my battery is dying and I wanted to just do a really quick video, which ended up not being so quick, of this journal, this junk journal, scavenger hunt, glue book is what it is. Um, it needs a smaller name, but that's what it is. So I'm having a whole lot of fun putting stuff into it, thinking outside the box, finding things that would go into my categories, and I will list my categories underneath if I can figure out how to do that because I haven't done that yet. There are so many different categories that can be used for adults or for children. Um, you could do categories to make kids do some research how to say hello in as many different languages as they can find is one that I think would be fun. So I will um, do another video when I get back from my trip. I am going to be gone for a while after Thanksgiving so this is going to be my last video for a little bit. Um, hopefully I'll come back and have something to show and I challenge anybody to do the same thing because this is a whole lot of fun. I've really had a lot of fun finding things and thinking about things. Um, one category I did forget is thread, fibers, yarn. I've added them to a little thing and that is going to be going into the book as well. Finding fibers and stuff, thread, twine, string, anything. Just a little bit. Um, that's another category. So before my battery really dies, I will say the end and I will get back to you with lists. Thanks for watching.